Back to school shopping is happening all over the U.S. Some parents look forward to the tax-free holidays in hopes to save money, but some parents have different thoughts. It's not good enough of a, uh, of a break for families because if you think about it, you know, I uh, tax, what, nine point something percent, so you can't go over $100, so. Only 16 states, including Tennessee, still hold tax-free holidays and weekends. But a lot of states have either stopped their tax-free holidays or have gotten rid of sales tax altogether. According to the TaxFoundation.org, the Federal Reserve researchers did a study on these tax-free holidays, with the results showing that retailers raise prices during the tax-free holidays, thus reducing consumer savings. I really don't think it helps as much as they think, because if you can only, if you're only maxed out at like a hundred bucks, then. Um, or $100 worth of goods, then you're really not saving that much money. For Tennessee sales tax holidays, only certain things are tax exempt, including clothing and school supplies that are $100 or less, and certain computers that are $1,500 or less. I think we should not have a limitation or any kind of, you know, dollar sign put on education, especially for the kids, because these kids are the future. Reporting in Murfreesboro, this is Ariel Ryder with Middle Tennessee News.